Welcome to Admin Setup for Scheduler Properties. In this section, we'll discuss how you can change your, your appointment scheduler, your work schedule, and your availability schedule, the properties, and how you're actually viewing the scheduler. So let's first go into Admin, and we'll go into Scheduler Properties. And within Scheduler Properties, you have several different selections you can make. Uh, I would recommend uh, I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you change a few of these and uh, the other ones we pretty much leave the way they are. We've experimented with them and it, it shows that it's, um, the display actually comes out better just leaving um, like the header column <clears throat> for date, excuse me, that, that's better, remain checked. So we'll just, I'll cover a couple of these and show you when we change it how it will actually change in the appointment scheduler and the work schedule and the availability schedule. So let's go there right now. So I'll go on the appointment scheduler. And right here, I am showing it. It's showing from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And the same would be with the work schedule and the availability schedule. And it's set up for horizontal. So first, let's go ahead and I'll change it to vertical. You can see what it looks like under vertical. So I go back to admin scheduler properties and now I'm going to change it to vertical and I hit save and then with the appointments then you can see now it's displayed in a vertical mode the same way with the availability and the work schedule because all three of these schedules are linked together so if you change one you're going to change all three so let's go back to admin and scheduler properties now I can change the, the time scale interval say I want to do it every 15 minutes I'd save, go back to my appointments, and you see now it's it's a larger scale here. Now, you know you may you may think that it looks better displayed as a as vertical as a, as opposed to horizontal. And but when you get busy, uh, let me go back and I'll show you one of our dates, one of our busier dates, say February second, and I'll show you what it looks like if you use it in the vertical mode. Okay, so we'll go to February 2nd, and it's just easier for us to actually do it in the, in the we like the horizontal as opposed to vertical, um, because you'd have to scroll up and down more, but whatever, whatever fits your office, if you'd prefer to have it in vertical as opposed to horizontal, then you just would select it in admin, scheduler properties, because we default it to horizontal. And we also default it to 30-minute intervals. And the start time and the end time, I believe we have it defaulted, and it's in military time, so 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., 2,100 hours. The only thing I want to add with this is if you wanted to say you're open all the time and you put in here 2,400 and save, now when you go back to your appointments code, it's going to give you an error message. And the problem is, if you want to try to, if you want to tell your display that you're open all the time, what you'll have to do is put 2359, and then save, and then when you come back to the schedule, it actually will display the whole time. So just remember that tend to be a, a common mistake if someone would put in 2400, and it would give an error message. So other than that. Um, the big change was going to be if you probably were to switch it from vertical, I'm sorry, horizontal to vertical and maybe change the, the time interval and also obviously you might change your start and your end time. Um, so that's all we have for scheduler properties with admin setup. The next section is admin setup security group permissions. Thank you.